gentlemen, and we're back. We're going to jump into a game in progress right now. Late Bloomers versus Torch Gaming, and we're already into some action. Late Bloomers killing some people in the right-hand side. Don't know I've what led to it, but we know what's coming after. They've got their eyes on the fire giant. Okay, they're going for fire giant now. Now, just to give you a quick catch up, we did fast forward through this to catch up into this game. Late bloomers were behind two to seven at the ten minute mark, and they came back to make it fourteen fourteen a minute ago. And now they just picked up some kills, looking for the fire giant. But late bloomers gonna find it, and now we're gonna see raw drop down here. Davis ARC gonna go down to support superior to to you superior to you there we go on that loki who's currently level 18 the highest on his team seven two and two and late bloomers are the surprise upset team in this tournament after definitely true to their namesake late bloomers are doing exactly what they're expected to do bloom just a little late let's give a little recap for our folks at home just joining us 18 minutes into the game 5200 and 5700 gold and experience lead respectively for the late bloomers also leading by three kills and a single tower just picked up the fire giant so they're going to be looking for an opportunity to make something hurt somewhere else rom on the other hand for torch gaming looking to make something happen in this long lane trying to get the tower well, with the fire giant up online now you can see space and time channel but now we're going to see humbats caught out of position there for the most part has to retreat back middle tower going to be aggressed on as you can see the blink in from fabi on that geb trying to go aggressive on the humbats and now davis gets caught out of position there by cataclysm and the tornado is going to wreck havoc on his hp bars as the Middle tower drops down. We're going to see the continue of the assault. And there's an assassinate from Loki going in, picking up the kill on the big Sonic Boom on the backside from Mercury. They're still going aggressive here, late bloomers. They're looking for more. Torch Gaming trying to provide a little bit of defense that any way they can possible. Pulliam going to go ahead and get the cavalry charge. No stuns. Late bloomers, safe to take this tower. Well, photosynthesis taking effect thanks to the power of Torch coming here that the late bloomers are now starting to bloom. They're looking to push on and try and get themselves to the final. Forcing the beads out of Rom on the backside as they now push down there. Meanwhile, left-hand side of Dot. Artemis is split pushing the tower to victory for her team. And we can see the rotation starting to come out from the rest of the late bloomers. Artemis just chewing through this tower almost 20 minutes into this game. Artemis is already level 17. Lovely. Great rotation and response on the right-hand lane coming out from Torch Gaming. Superior to you and Venerun all by themselves. Gusta going to go ahead and pick up the Loki. Two members still remain in lane. Three members here in the middle lane. Good knock-up coming out, but Torch Gaming wants to make something happen. And on the left-hand side, we're going to see Artemis still continuing to split push away to victory. They committed so much to the right hand side for that low key and Artemis just continuing to chunk down towers and that's the last tier 2 tower on the map. Go Fury up though and it looks like Late Bloom is going to go back and pick that one up for themselves as well. A Torch going to have a say in this. It's a great situation for Late Bloomers. They get a Gold Fury and if Torch decides to respond, depending on how they respond, Late Bloomers can really turn on them and make something happen. Instead, they opt to disperse. Two members of Late Bloomers are gone. Torch Gaming going to respond and engage on top wow. of this Geb. Good blink. The ball. From Gip, but here comes the rest of the team. Oh, a thousand damage. Sonic Boom on the backside from Mercury. And now Fabi going to pick up a kill. And Mercury gets out of trouble as the snipe comes out from Davis. And now Hombat's in trouble. Looking to leap away. Going to find it for now. But another pickup yet again for the late bloomers. And they're actually looking like they're going to start to continue to snowball this lead after. For the upset team to get to the final. From nowhere, these guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude to them. But I don't even reckon. Their names after where have these guys come from? That's a hundred percent right. Actually, to give you a little info into my personal communications, Cret is the one that told me the information that non pockety OP was taken out by late bloomers. And he said they've been taken out by late bloomers. He listed the roster and then he said, AKA, who are these guys and why are they so good? And that's exactly what we're looking at. Late bloomers, unfamiliar names, but familiar tactics, just winning, going for the objectives and going for the victory. Right now, over 10,000 gold in the lead, 13,000 to be specific. Ross, looks like conventional picks coming out from them as well. And after being at a deficit in this game against Torch during the early stages, they're really starting to command a lead in this one. I mean, the experience and gold tell the story. 12,000 gold lead, experience lead of 13,000. And even though the kills are very, relatively close after, it looks like late bloomers are very aware to take down the objectives at every opportunity to continue this snowball. 
Yeah, they're playing like a veteran team right here. I don't. I, I, I would be very surprised if after this week's tournament, we'll see how the finals go, or if late bloomers can even make it to the finals. This lead doesn't mean a victory, but somebody's going to come out of this with a new favorite player. Oh. Late bloomers have been playing very spectacularly and making veteran decisions, as you said, knowing to go for the objectives. So the moment is 22 minutes in, Fire Giant got to come up again soon. And we could already see that Torch have got a ward down there as well, keeping vision online to make sure they've got full vision of this area. Um, although we can also see from Late Bloomers as well, actually. I apologize, it was Late Bloomers that got the wards down. So they're the ones here with the objective control. And Torch have an understanding of it with their positionings. But they're going to be late to this one as it spawns again. The tornadoes are dropped. Superior two for you. We're going to go in with that Loki trying to assassinate. Hunbats finds him. That takes out the Fear No Evil. And now he's aggressing onto that Yarnus on the backside as Pullen runs away. And he finds the double kill from this Loki as the portal connects. Spirit Tempest not going to find Davis backs away again fire giant one more time for the bloomers absolutely insane play coming out from blue they use loki to maintain spacing able to create the, the objective for themselves they are creators they are not waiting this mid phoenix is going down with no resistance from torch gaming right here two members are still down for 10 plus seconds 20 on gusta the previous savior for torch gaming is now sitting still positive but definitely dead at the moment bloom is taking a lot of damage from pulliam and rom is in the air Rom is in the air, going to find the snipe onto Mercury, and all three hits connected because he used the last one on to the armor. So that's a really nice play coming out there from one glance. Going to be a tornado for his trouble, though, after taking down Mercury. And the rest of Late Bloomers going to continue to try and assault here on the left hand side. But the sustain coming out from Torch could be too much as here comes Hun Bats. Fear No Evil going to connect. You know, evil always relevant as we talked about before, but Loki proving oh, to be the more Loki. powerful assassin this moment in time. Girdles popped after the assassinate, looking for a secondary kill while in the back. He oh. trusts his hunter to go ahead and get the double. He's way behind the tower right now, Hindu Man. Superior to you, gonna die to David's arc as he is getting oh, rather wow. testy, but the rest of his team should be able to clean up this Phoenix. Yeah, one thing I want to shout out, Forzin is only hitting targets when he's got the opportunity to, when he's not trying to, he's not trying to chase kills, he's focusing the objectives. And so they bring down that Phoenix, which was a good call from him. It would have taken a lot longer if he didn't do that. Squall, Tornado hits again onto Ra, so that's going to force him from chasing onwards onto these late bloomers who are now seven kills in the lead. Two Phoenix is down, and they're looking good right now, F-Dot, to go on a face Fat Chunks Assemble in the final this week. Yeah, I love the Loki play coming out right here. We always associate with Loki with the idea of he's a jungler th that falls off late game in the sense that he just doesn't have an impact. He can delete a character, and then after that, there really isn't much more to go on. Well, what we have here is a Loki using the threat of his abilities rather than the abilities themselves to provide spacing for his team. Nobody wants to get close to that Loki because they understand that they will die on so when he progresses and he goes behind the enemy phoenix the team is forced off of the phoenix allowing the rest of his team to come up from behind and get the objective it's providing spacing and that's providing the victory 16 and a half thousand gold for the late bloomers Golf here he goes down again to the bloomers middle lane is down phoenix still gonna be down for a substantial amount of time left hand side down too so the focus from late bloomers now will be to this final right hand side phoenix if they can find a couple of picks here as well after this is going to spell lights out for the torch the batteries would have run out on that for the time being but we will be seeing them next week in the next couple of weeks that's for sure in the round robin stages but for now the late bloomers are really showing that they have come out of nowhere but know how to play Siege coming up in the right hand lot. Here's superior to you. Gets oh, the, the assassinate. And that is a dead Davis arc. Not quite yet, though. Good fear, no evil to provide oh. a little bit of pressure. Pulliam gonna go down. Superior to you gets credit for that kill. Loki on an absolute tear. Damage old coming out from oh, Giannis. Not as much as that he expected. Good dragon off, but Davis arc from the back line gets the kill. Kill still coming out from late bloomers. There's three members dead for Torch Gaming and only one for late bloomers. 4v2 and you're going to see them going aggressive. Loki's going to be the one to do it as Artemis tries to focus the Titan. They want to go to the finals. They want to show that it wasn't just a fluke that they beat non and EOP. And they actually deserve to be here. Late bloomers are going to move on to the final left dot. And what a performance from them to come up against two teams back to back. That you sort of expected to make it to the stage and beat them convincingly. 
absolutely incredible. Late bloomers coming from nowhere. Gonna win that game with 18,000 gold superior to Torch Gaming. And Loki, 13, 4 and 4, just absolutely taking control of this game. We might have stepped in halfway through the game, folks, but it looked rather even right Dick. before the turning point of that initial fire giant. Yeah, that fire giant just seemed to put it into the favor of late bloomers. They're going to come out on top of this one. And like we said, after they're going to go on now to face Fat Chunks Assemble in the final, who for me was a surprise victory over five angry men. And so yeah, we've yeah. got a matchup that I didn't expect to see. I did not expect to see this match this week in the final. <laughs> I definitely didn't expect nobody at everybody at home that has their own brackets. If they do, they're definitely got brackets blown up. Yeah. by the teams that have come out this week. So just to reiterate, folks, we're going to see in the finals this week, it's going to be the team you just saw win, Late Bloomers versus Fat Chunks Assemble, the people that beat out Five Angry Men. Your consolation third place match will be 5 a.m. versus Team Torch. That's not backwards. You will see mm -hmm. Fat Chunks Assemble and Late Bloomers in your finals. Ridiculous. And these four teams that we're talking about right there, they're going to be playing in the round robin to see which two of those will advance to the Pro League to join the other North American teams. Dignitas, Cognitive, Cognitive Red, and also... Who was the other one? Uh, it's going to be Dignitas, Cog, Snipe. Snipe. I was joking. I just wanted to check your memory. I knew it was Snipe, <laughs> guys. But yeah, guys, also, someone in production told me to buy hats because hats are cool. Buy hats. Smite.clothing. Buy hats. Yeah, it's smite.clothing, not smiteclothing.com. It's smite.clothing. It's the entire URL that'll bring you to our portal of uh, cool hats and smite stuff that you can go ahead and purchase. And also, don't forget, if you want to play as well-oiled as late bloomers in your own ranked matches, Ooh. go ahead and pick up Curse Voice. Not only do you get the joy of winning, because communication is what wins games, it's what separates the good teams from the bad in competitive play, and it can only help your ranked game, but you also get 200 champs. And who doesn't want a voice pack, right? That sounds blooming good. We'll be right back with the finals, guys, after this short break. <laughs> 